Hi, I'm Chuck Martin. Welcome to the June Kelly Gallery. This is my seventh solo exhibition here. This one is called Affinity with Brazil. It is a resume of photographs from 1982 up to the present. That would be my first visit to Brazil up to as recently as a, a year ago. Uh, the photographs reflect uh, essentially my interest just in being there. You know, one of the things that is very important in photography is that some people look at it as an art, meaning that you just express what you want to see, and others look at it as journalism. Journalism is fine, but I'm really not defining my photographs by either the subject matter or my attitude uh, to it. So I'm just inviting you to look at what I hope are beautiful renditions of especially space and sometimes uh, portraits. The uh, interest in Brazil began with my search for uh, an equivalent of African-American culture only in Brazil. And now I'm pretty much interested in just about everything from Brazil. This would include, for example, architecture. And over here, this is a university built in Constantine Eastern Algeria by the great Brazilian architect Oscar Niemeyer, who actually lived there for a number of years in exile. And uh, let me show you another piece of his. This is from the same university, and I had the great pleasure of going there. Uh, I spent uh, four visits in Algeria, and as I knew that Nehemiah had done work there, I got permission and was flown out to the eastern state uh, or the eastern region of Constantine to look at his work. Um, my work is, among other things, always uh, possible through the help of friends. And one of them, uh, one example of this, would be these photographs here. This is in Bahia. And uh, I called it the Four Moments of the Sun, which is actually a Congo reference uh, from the great art historian who I actually was a teaching assistant for, Robert Farris Thompson. And this guy here is a flugelhorn player. And it was raining all the time when I was in Bahia, and I was complaining, saying, you know, it's really difficult to go out and photograph. And he said, well, you know, I actually look at the city kind of as an art director, uh, looking for images that might work for me as an album cover. So he said, I can get some people I know. We'll go to the hairdresser. We'll get them all made up. And if it rains, we'll go and have coffee. And when it's not raining, we'll go out and photograph. And that's what we did. We spent the whole day in and out between rain and photographing. So this looks like a casual shot, perhaps, but it's not. <laughs> OK? Um, this is a reference to the uh, Yoruba origin uh, religion, which could be Candomblé or some variation of it. And I had the good fortune of uh, being at this event. And it's interesting for me because people always talk about these events as though they happen only in Bahia. This is in Sao Paulo, okay, metropolitan uh, Brazil. Let me also just look at a couple of others. This woman is dressed in typical Bahian uh, outfit, which if you're in the streets of Bahia, you would see her like that. Uh, but this is also something that street vendors who sell food dress up in. So this is actually in Rio. One of the nice things about my uh, times in Rio, uh, this is also in Rio. Uh, both of these are in a neighborhood called Santa Teresa. And when I travel as much as possible, I like to stay in one little neighborhood uh, to try and get a feel of just fitting in. And so this is my part of my Santa Teresa experience. And this trolley car track, I don't know how many trolleys they have in uh, Rio, probably not too many, but this one is famous because it takes you up to the hill of uh, Santa Teresa and uh, there was a horrible accident there. It was closed for a couple of years and now it's open again. Let me also just uh, point out that, uh, again, this is a Niemeyer Museum built in the little uh, city of Niteroi, which is near Rio. And uh, of course, the main image though, which is the beach and objects. And this is your classic uh, Rio de Janeiro, uh, Cristo the Christ, uh, also taken from Santa Teresa while I was uh, staying there. Let me also just 
show you a couple of other images. This is Ouro Preto, which is the central, sort of central part of Brazil. It's known for, among other things, the uh, sculptor Uali Jardinho, who was a Afro-Brazilian sculptor who did kind of classical work, uh, built a lot of churches and so forth and so on. And the city itself looks pretty much like a museum. I don't know if it's still the case, but when I was there, I think it was my first time, uh, there were actually photographers who would offer you period dress and then they would paint in the backdrop so you would look like you've been photographed in the 1600s or something like that. Uh, this is not Ouro Preto, this is Rio, just in the uh, rain reflections are a subject of mine. Uh, in fact, my first exhibition here uh, was called Reflections. Most of the reflections were of glass, but um, it's something that I do all the time. This also is Sao Paulo, and once again, we're looking at the architecture of Oscar Niemeyer. This is the Memorial da America Latina, or the Memorial to America Latina, America, Latin America. And uh, I had the fortune of studying there. Um, you know, I've studied in Brazil, I've had exhibitions there, I've given lectures there, I've uh, just hung out there and had coffee. So this is kind of a resume of these things. Let me point out one more little item and here we're looking at not Brazil, but one of the fountains of Brazilian architecture and of course the language. This is Lisbon in Portugal. And for all of those of us who are Bossa Nova fans, we'll note that there just happens to be a poster here of the recently uh, departed Joao Gilberto, who's regularly referred to as the father of uh, Bossa Nova. So that's kind of a capsule. Uh, quick resume of my exhibition. Uh, oh, let me just point out a couple more things. Obviously, graffiti is a, of, of importance around the world. This is in a tunnel in Sao Paulo. A friend of mine uh, knew that I was interested in this. Uh, he was a poet and uh, uh, a writer, short story writer, and so he led me to this tunnel. Uh, and I, of course, see some sort of relationship between these figures and the figures walking through. And then sometimes uh, we remember, sometimes we forget how important uh, New York is. This is in Sao Paulo, a store called Bronx Records. Okay. Uh, and uh, then the last one I want to look at would be here. Again, we have reflections over here. Uh, a processional in Bahia. But again, here we have uh, graffiti. And note the graffiti. This is in Sao Paulo. No racism. Uh, X number of years of Van Gogh, a repetition of uh, the uh, Van Gogh. So we're looking at uh, being as international as you can be. The show will be here until the 2nd of August. Uh, it opened in uh, June, the end of June, and so uh, you still have time to come see the show, which I hope you will do.